Thanks for joining me back here at Laser Engraving 911. So on today's episode, we're going to go over 20 awesome online resources for laser engravers. We're going to go over all kinds of sites ranging from where to buy blank stuff, graphic design elements, where to get laser cutting files, laser safety, and a lot more. So if that sounds like something you want to get into, then buckle up, get your pen and paper out, because we're about to get into it on Laser Engraving 911. All right, well, let's kick this off with number one, which is Johnson Plastic Plus. So if you haven't heard of Johnson Plastic Plus, they originally kind of got into the game where they're a huge supplier of all kinds of acrylic and different materials for sign makers, engravers. And over the years, they've actually increased their, uh, their inventory to have lots of blank stuff for laser engraving. Um, I primarily use Johnson Plastic Plus uh, for all my acrylic needs. Their website's great. You could, they've got these categories here, engraving, mounting, sublimation, heat transfer. I usually go to the engraving section. These guys are a great resource for uh, sourcing uh, sheets of acrylic of pretty much any shape, size, color, finish, and their prices are you know, they're pretty good. They're, they're what they are for acrylic. Um, they do offer free shipping if you hit a, a certain point, but one of my favorite laser engraving, um, acrylics that I buy from Johnson plastic plus is the Romark laser max engraving series. Uh, this is the two ply, uh, where you've got, you know, a color on the surface. And then underneath that initial color, you've got a color of engraving, which is what the stripes are there. They have this stuff really engraves well and they've just got a huge color selection and you can get it in different thicknesses like 132nd you know 1 16th 1 8th uh, you can get uh, two ply or three ply they have some with three level colors you can buy a quarter sheet a half sheet a, a full sheet you can you know 24 inches by 48 is a pretty big sheet and What's really great about this particular product at Johnson Plastic Plus is that you can have it come with the 3M backing already on it. You can add that on to your service. So Johnson Plastic Plus, a great resource for acrylic. They have lots of, lots of acrylic resources for laser engravers. They also have wood. They've got blank items like cups. Um, you could, I mean, just dig around. They are looking for you to be in a, a, a semi-established engraving business. So you will need your, your business license and, and your tax ID number to be able to use them. But man, uh, Johnson Plastic Plus, great resource for laser engraving products, uh, both blanks, raw material, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we could go on for days, but uh, definitely check out Johnson Plastic Plus. All right. Next on the list, number two, we have LaserSketch LTD or LaserSketch.com. Particularly, what I like to talk about on this uh, website is this is a great website to buy uh, laser engravable bricks for CO2 lasers. So you will eventually, if you're in the graving business, get called to do some memorial bricks and there are bricks that you can get from Home Depot and there's bricks that you may be able to source at other places. But these guys uh, make some really neat bricks that are, are compiled and composited of the right material to get a really nice black, uh, almost basically turns the engraving part into like black obsidian when they're engraved with like a CO2 laser. Um, they have lots of different sizes. Um, they've got a little sample pack, so you can get like your standard brick here. Um, and, you know, that picture right there is actually a pretty good representation of what the brick looks like after it's been engraved with the CO2 laser, if you do the process right. Um, I've tried these bricks myself. I've engraved a few, and they really do engrave that black if you get your settings dialed in. They've got some thinner sizes. Um, they've got little little square ones, little three inch by three inch. 
You can get some big boys in there and they've even got a laser brick uh, sample pack here. So if you've got a project where you need some bricks that are really laser CO2 laser engraving friendly, you're definitely going to want to go over and check out lasersketch.com and uh, check out their laser bricks because these ones are, in my opinion, the best bricks for laser engraving. Uh, so definitely go and check them out. All right, number three, let's talk about fonts. So I've been using defaunt.com for years now. And man, I am telling you, I have so many fonts on my hard drive from over the years that I, it's ridiculous. It's like, you know, fonts are a thing in the, in the laser engraving business. And, uh, it's good to have a resource online where you can go and, uh, find a specific type of font that may or may not be free or, or a style of font. And I like to use defaunt.com. Uh, to search for different styles of fonts. So what I like about uh, defaunt.com is uh, they have this, you know, your basic categories up here on the top. And then let's just use medieval category as a second. And it pulls up, you know, old English style fonts and maybe some ones that are like old English, but have a little bit more little snazziness to it. You know, uh, oh, look at that. <clears throat> so we've got Enchanted Land. Basically, they can't call it the Disney font, so they've got to call it Enchanted Land. But once you find a font you like, if you want to kind of preview of the the words that you need to use, you can go ahead and click on that font, and then they have like a little custom preview. So you can type in whatever it is that you're kind of working with. One, one, and then hit submit, and it will show you how your words are going to look in that font. You can also just kind of do generalized uh, searches uh, up in the search bar. You can just put like, uh, let's see, hand written, right? So if you're looking for a handwritten font, you can go ahead and just type in that and then just start looking at all the different fonts that actually kept the, uh, the word there, which is pretty cool. And so now I'm just looking at all these different uh, ways that laser engraving 911 can be written in all these different styles of fonts. So definitely check out defont.com. It's one of my favorites. I've been using it for years and it's a great resource for about 90% free fonts. So uh, check it out. It's definitely worth a look. All right. Number four on the list is one of my secret weapons and it's not about to be a secret anymore. If you're in the laser engraving business, there is no doubt that you will get sent logos from customers that are the size of a business card and they want it engraved on bottles and whatever. You will get low resolution. You will get low resolution images. You will get horrible graphics uh, from your customers. And those graphics need to be completely revamped sometimes and turned into vectors. And honestly, up until I found... Um, joy over at joy designers um i struggle with this man i i'm good with adobe illustrator but when it comes to completely revamping a logo making all the edges crisp messing around with getting the fonts just the right way um i in the beginning i would spend hours watching tutorials trying to do this when i just really wanted to get to the engraving part and move through with the job and a friend of mine turned me on to Joy over at Joy Designers. And that was about s over six years ago is how long I've been using Joy. She is fantastic. Uh, don't judge uh, Joy by her website. It's a little slow and buggy. That's why uh, I'm just showing you her contact page with all of her information on how to get a hold of her. However, even though the website is a little glitchy, I can assure you that her work is spectacular and very affordable. All you need to do, if you need any kind of logo turned into a vector, whether it's color or just black, RGB black, and you want it crisp, tight, and just looking stellar, you just reach out to Joy. Her email uh, is right there. You can call her. But anyway, let me show you some examples. Um, you know, instead of just running my mouth about it of past work that she's done for me. So here is a couple of examples. Um, you know, a customer wanted me to do these barrel heads. This is the only thing they had was this, this, this photo right here. 
and I need to work on a bunch of barrel heads. I needed this turned into a vector, and this is what her her and her team kicked back. I couldn't be more happy with that. It's a it's a vector ready to go, uh, ready to be engraved on anything that the customer wanted. And here is another example. Uh, all this customer had was a photo of their yacht, and they wanted it engraved on a bunch of different stuff. Um, and I wanted it to be a deep engraving and more of a graphic design. So I sent uh, Joy this photo, and this is this beautiful, clean vector graphic is what she kicked back to me. I mean, her her work is amazing. She's super responsive, super fast. Uh, you can make revisions if something isn't just the way you want. If you're looking to save some time and move forward with your work and get excellent, any kind of art turned into clean vector graphics, I highly recommend you check out Joy Designers. All right, moving on to number five, we've got boardsforengraving.com. So uh, I don't know where I found uh, this person. It might've been in a forum, um, but if I need cutting boards made in the USA, which it's always a plus. Um, I like to go to boardsforengraving.com. Uh, this this company, uh, you know, they make a, a, a you know a, a nice selection of cutting boards. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy. But what they do, which is really nice, is they actually use wood that's engraver friendly. So that means that, you know, it. It, you know, when you engrave these boards, they're made from woods that uh, engrave really dark, which, you know, unlike bamboo or something like that, which you can kind of struggle with from time to time, these boards are made uh, from uh, maple, cherry, and walnut. My favorite ones to get are the cherry cutting boards. I feel like these engrave just so nice. The engraving is a nice, deep, dark brown. Their prices, you know, you do have to buy a case of five at a time, but if you break down the cost of this, these boards, it's it's really affordable. And and when, you know, I always keep a bunch of these in stock just in case someone needs a quick cutting board. Uh, I really like the quality of their boards. Uh, it's, a, it's a smaller company, but boards for engraving, if you're looking for just some really, really nice cutting boards made in the USA, made out of wood that is you know, excellent for laser engraving, definitely go check out boardsforengraving.com. I've definitely been using them for a little while now. So check them out. All right. Number six. So, uh, here's a great online resource. If you're looking to, uh, make a, uh, project box with your laser engraver, you're looking to cut a box maker case or en.makercase.com is a cool online tool that you can use to make uh, some complicated or simple boxes and take all the guesswork out of making the plans for your laser cutter uh, with those. Um, so let's just go ahead and show you how this works real quick. So I'm gonna pick basic box here and I am presented with a uh, 3D uh, example of uh, the box that I want to create. Let's say that I want to create a box that is six inches wide by two inches tall and uh, five inches deep. Are these the dimensions of the outside dimensions? You see what happens as I'm changing the parameters here is I can kind of look at my box. I can select the material thickness that I'm going to use for the project. And then I can keep scrolling down. There's more options. I can do a custom thickness if I want. Is it an open box or a closed box? And then check this out. So you can do flat edges. You can do fingered edges. Look at that. Ooh. So now we got the finger joints already in there. Uh, and then when you're done with all your parameters and stuff, all you hit is uh, download box plans. And there it is. You just download the file and you're pretty much ready to go <laughs> and dump these files into your laser cutter. I believe that it exports as S SVG uh, yeah, or D even DXF files. So definitely check out MakerCase. Takes all the guesswork out of building boxes and uh, you might find that interesting down the road on your laser engraving projects. All right, number seven. So how could this list be complete without talking about some of my favorite uh, YouTube channels that I like to go and check out. 
Uh, and not only do I like to go and check this out, but it's also, this is one of the channels that um, I actually have a personal relationship with Alex over at Laser Everything. Uh, Alex and I go way back. Alex actually helped me open up my my full-time job, which is Sonoma Laser Engraving, and uh, worked with me for many years. And since then, he has started his own YouTube channel, and his uh, YouTube channel is a great resource for anyone uh, looking at uh, different laser engravers. Um, really, he really gets into the nitty-gritty of some of these machines, which is super cool. On his playlist over here, he's got some really educational stuff uh, about light burn. Uh, he's got the light burn for, for gantry crash course, light burn for Galvo crash course, easy CAD too if you're into fiber laser engraving and you don't want to use light burn. Uh, Alex is super proficient at a, a lot of these programs and he really breaks it down <clears throat> in a lot of his videos. Uh, on every little every little setting that you could ever ask for. And he's got a podcast, the Laser Everything podcast, which you actually might see me on from time to time. Uh, sometimes I pop in on that podcast. But what I really like about uh, Alex's channel is just the depth of information that he gives on the hardware of some of the machines that he reviews. And just, you know, kind of all the new technology in uh, laser engraving world and you know where it's going and what's good and what's bad and he gives his opinion and he's got a great team of people over there so if you want to dip into another cool laser engraving youtube channel and you haven't already definitely go check out laser everything all right now on to number eight mcmaster car or what i like to call mcmaster wow <laughs> if you haven't heard of mcmaster car mcmaster car is the biggest online hardware store that you will ever find um, it's a great resource if you've got some kind of laser engraving project that you're working on that needs like, you know, nuts and bolts or specific kinds of screws. Say you need some kind of a clamp to hold to, you're building your own laser engraving modification and you need clamps to hold something down or you're, you're, uh, you're building your own laser engraver for that matter. You would come to McMaster car to find all the little bits and bobs that you would need for your project. They've got everything from screws to hand tools to a raw material. You can even get raw material here if you're fiber laser engraving and you need some sheet stock of different plastics, metals, Delrin, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on. I could spend a, probably a whole video digging into all the different categories of things that you can find on McMaster car. And, you know, it's a wholesale resource for finding all those little bits and bobs. You can use the, you know, the search engine here and just search for, you know, say M6 uh, screw. Say you're looking for M6 screws. Uh, they're going to come up with every kind of, of M6 length style, you know, um, you're going to find it here. If you want to visit the biggest online uh, Bits and Bobs hardware store for pretty much any kind of maker project. You're going to want to go to McMaster Car. All right, moving on to number nine, we've got Creative Market, creativemarket.com. So creativemarket.com is a great resource if you're looking for graphic design elements um, that are in uh, Adobe Illustrator format or SVG format, and you want to look at some you know, most of their stuff is pretty pro, I have to say. I've downloaded fonts. I've purchased fonts from Creative Market. I've purchased templates from Creative Market. Uh, this is not a free site. You do need to pay for, for the art that you're buying here. But um, it's a really great resource, and they have lots of creative people that are uploading different uh, vector graphics and things that are very handy when it comes to <clears throat> creating awesome laser engraved projects. So let's say I wanted to... Uh, I was working on a new patch design for a customer. I could put in leather patch, <clears throat> just put in leather patch and see what comes up. So right away, I've got some, you know, there's also going to be stuff here for embroidery, but if I keep scrolling down, um, I can get to this set of outdoor adventure patches. So and click on that and check these vectors out. So all these can be edited, you know, and designed to 
uh, your specifications for your project. It looks like they come in uh, EPS format, which is a vector format. Um, let's see what else they got. Uh, they got some fire department emblems. So I didn't, I was looking for leather patches, but I guess if I needed to do some leather patches for the fire department, this would be a good starting point. So definitely make sure that you check out creative market. It's a great online resource for, uh, graphic design elements in vector format. Uh, and their prices are pretty affordable. I've definitely visited them a few times in my career, uh, when I'm working on various projects for customers. And at number 10, we've got Imager or Image <laughs> iMag Dash Art. <laughs> I just call it Imager. But Imager, it's an online, currently a free resource. They've got an online photo processor that will definitely does a pretty good job, a really good job at uh, processing photos for laser engraving. Basically, it's really easy. You just come to their homepage here, you pick an image you want to upload. I'm just going to upload. Uh, this image, I'm going to scroll down. Uh, I'm not going to crop this image, um, for the purpose of, you know, this, this quick little overview of this website. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the material. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go to CO2 cause that's what I'll be using it on. And let's just say I wanted to put this image on leather. It very quickly processes this image into a bitmap format that is excellent for my laser engraving machine that it, I know with the right settings is going to laser engrave really well. I've used it before in other videos and I use it often for customers projects. If you don't want to do it yourself and you're just looking to get going, uh, this is definitely one of those online resources that uh, will benefit you in your laser engraving business. All right. Number 11, we've got laserfocusworld.com, uh, and basically like an online, uh, magazine all about lasers so for the nerd in all of us uh, if you want to go and nerd out and research about different types of lasers and how they're used in all kinds of applications all over including uh, co2 lasers fiber lasers um, lasers that are used in the medical field but lasers 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 so that's what this site's all about if you feel like you want to have a better understanding of your laser machine and and the type of wavelength that your laser is and how it's used in different fields and get down to the nitty-gritty of things then laser focus world is going to be a great place for you to do some serious reading on the subject you know just opening up here right away i can see an article that uh, i'm probably going to read whereas uh are laser marking and engraving the same thing so that you know fantastic article here all about the difference between laser marking and engraving and they really get in you know just break it down um with you know some nice pretty pictures and <laughs> just get into the nitty-gritty of things um you know laser focus world is a place for you to go and just nerd out on everything laser so uh if you feel like you got some extra time on your hands and you want to read up on different uh, laser technology, then laser focus world is going to be the place that you are going to want to go to coming in at number 12. We've got another one of, uh, my favorite YouTube channels for all of you Corel draw fans out there. I present to you, Doug green, Doug green's been around for a long time. And, uh, uh, Doug, Doug's speciality is making tutorials on how to use Corel draw. And when I mean that Doug's been around for a long time, this guy has made so many tutorials on how to do everything uh, that you could possibly ever want to do uh, when it comes to laser engraving, graphic design, uh, templates, uh, how to do really, you know, strange niche stuff in CorelDRAW. Doug's probably done it. This is the place to go. If you want to learn about Corel Draw and how to use Corel Draw with your laser engraver, uh, Doug's got you covered. Number 13, Pinoco.com. And I'm particularly on the free laser cutting files section of this site. Um, they this, this company actually offers laser cutting services. If you want to contract with them, they can quote you on actually doing all the laser cutting for you. But you know, this channel is about laser engraving ourselves. We'll do all the manufacturing, but 
they do have a great section here on their site uh, that's free laser cutting files. And these are uploaded by different uh, users um, and they are many. <laughs> so you've got all these different laser cutting files that people have uploaded for various projects that they've done over the years um, that uh, might be a great starting point for you to kind of look at some of these laser cutting files and see how they're done. You might find that some of these files have become useful for you in some of your projects. But if you just click around on this page, you can find that uh, a lot of people have uploaded some really great laser cutting files here. Uh, I can't guarantee that all these files are amazing uh, and that they're they're formatted perfectly. Um, but, you know, if you do need a, a balancing robot chassis, you know, uh, there it is. You just click on it and download the SVG and you're good to go. You want some uh, some snowflakes to cut? Uh, there it is. There you can doubt, just click on it and download the file. This is a really fun site to check out some of these uh, user uploaded files. And uh, it's just another great resource for laser cutting files. Number 14. Heading over to Facebook, Epilogue Laser Fans, one of the biggest Epilogue user-supported uh, Facebook groups. And whether you have an Epilogue or not, I highly suggest that you join this group uh, because there's great, a lot of great advice and people helping people struggle through their laser engraving uh, troubles, sharing some of their work. But like this gentleman right here, you know, just as an example... You know, he's, you know, he's talking about how he's not very happy with the results that he's getting on the glass and he's looking for some advice on how to change his settings and <clears throat> already it's got 16 comments on it and, you know, uh, people are asking if they switch the dithering pattern, you know, they're sharing their settings. So if you have an epilogue, this is an even better resource for you and, a, and, and, and you should join this group if you haven't already. If you don't have an epilogue or you just have a, a different kind of CO2 laser, that's just as fine too because this Facebook group is a great resource for CO2 laser engraving questions, projects, troubleshooting. You know, almost everyone on here is super helpful and uh, it's just a treasure trove of all kinds uh, of workarounds, how-to guides. So definitely make sure you head over to Facebook and join this group. Epilogue Laser Fans is the name of the group. All right, number 15, one of my, probably my number one place to uh, buy raw wood material, real wood, not plywood, is Okuch Hardwoods. I hope I pronounced that right. Okuch, Okuch Hardwoods. Anyway, um, I found this website a few years ago and many years ago, actually probably over three years ago, and I've been buying regular blanks from them. Uh, I like to go to Project Ready Wood, and they've got all the different species of woods listed over here on the right if you're looking for a specific type of wood. And it comes in manageable sizes. So you can change. So let's see, one of my favorite woods for laser engraving is cherry wood. So we we'll click on that here, and then you can pick the thickness. They've got 1 16th. Uh, one eighth, three sixteenth, quarter inch. Uh, that's very common for this scroll saw ready wood. But um, this is the place where I'm. I, I I order from them on a regular basis. I've ordered sample packs from them to see which woods engrave best. My favorites are cherry wood, alder wood, mahogany. Uh, I really love the way those laser cut and engrave. And just to be clear, these are not plywood. This company supplies you with real solid wood, which is, in my opinion, the best type of wood for laser engraving and laser cutting. And they will definitely deliver you some high quality wood for your laser engraving and laser cutting projects. All right, folks, number 16 on the list, we've got makerflowcrafts.com, kind of the new kit on the block. Uh, I know they've been around for a couple years now, um, but they uh, are definitely have some really cool blank products for laser engraving. So um, really easy to navigate their site. They also do a lot of sublimation stuff. So if you're into sublimation, this is definitely a place you want to check out. They've got, uh, that category as well. They've got raw stainless steel stuff for, 
using like Brilliance laser ink on. They've got wood blanks. So if you just click up here and click shop blanks, uh, we can just scroll through some of their blank items. They've got stainless steel tumblers. Obviously, the more you buy, the better the discount. Um, if we keep scrolling down, we go through all their stainless steel stuff. Then we start to get into some powder coated stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, all blanks for laser engraving, ready to laser engrave. They've never we keep scrolling down. We've got these slim minimalist wallets that are ready to laser engrave. Let's go ahead and click on those. So, <clears throat> you know, they've just got some really unique stuff uh, for blank stuff for laser engraving uh, for your customers. So, uh, you know, this 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 product looks really cool. Uh, I actually might get some of these. I am looking forward to meeting them in person at the APA show here in a few weeks. So hopefully uh, we'll have a, another interview directly with the uh, with the crew there at MakerFlow. So check them out. And coming in at number 17, we've got Creative Fabrica. Uh, specifically, their laser cut file section on their site. Uh, they also sell, uh, you know, fonts and other graphic design elements. But what really uh, catches my eye when I come here is all these different laser cutting bundle files. Just buying a few laser cutting files, if you're not sure how to make laser cutting files, sometimes just buying a few and looking at some of these files will help get, point you in the right direction. But some of these laser cutting files that they have here on the site are out of control. Super detailed. Um, I've got earring patterns. Um, that can all be modified because they're all basically vector art. Um, they've got multi-layer Easter egg rabbit bundles. So let's look at this <laughs> this stuff. So look, each one of these laser cutting files is its own layer. And then you get to stack them. And they've got examples of how they could look when you were done with them uh, for making little ornaments. But um, definitely check out Creative Fabrica. Definitely check them out. Super fun. Uh and also a great place to get inspired for your laser cutting projects. All right, number 18. We're going to take a second to talk about safety a little bit and your laser engraving machine. So some of you that have been in this business for a while um, may know this already. And some of you that are just getting started in the laser engraving business, uh, you may not know this. So I'm going to share a little bit of information for you about the type of fire extinguisher that you should have in your laser engraving shop. I'm going to talk about the type of fire extinguisher that is preferred for you to have in your shop. And you should all have a fire extinguisher somewhere nearby in case you have a fire that is started in your machine. So this particular fire extinguisher is called a Halotron fire extinguisher and they are more expensive without a doubt they are not anywhere close to the regular run-of-the-mill fire extinguishers that you're going to find at walmart hardware store those are the kind of powder fire extinguishers that spray that powder everywhere and they do a good job at extinguishing the fire but they also do a good job at completely destroying your machine and making sure that it is there is no way that you're going to salvage that machine if you spray that white powder fire extinguisher in your expensive laser engraving machine. Now, if you just have a little $300 blue diode laser machine and, and you know, it, something catches fire and you get a fire going and you just, that's all you have. And, you know, you, you, you spray it with one of those powder fire extinguishers. It's not going to real big deal, but if you got a 10,000, five, $5,000 machine, $26,000 machine, you're going to want to use a Halotron fire extinguisher to extinguish that fire inside your machine because this is a uh, liquid uh, clear vapor that uh, quickly evaporates as it puts out the fire and does not damage any of the electronic components inside of your machine. Uh, will you have to replace some parts in your machine because it caught on fire inside? Probably, yeah, belts, maybe some cables and stuff. But this chemical right here will not uh, uh, destroy or rust or corrode the internal components of your machine. And your chances of salvaging that machine after the fire has occurred by using this type of fire extinguisher are 100% versus using one of the standard run-of-the-mill fire extinguishers. So keep that in mind. Head on over to Fire Extinguisher Depot. Use the link that I provided down in the description below. 
Protect your investment by getting the right kind of fire extinguisher for putting out, uh, hopefully that never happens, uh, a fire in your expensive laser engraving machine. Um, you'll definitely thank yourself for making the investment later. Coming in at number 19, we've got JDS Industries. How could we not have them in the list? So JDS Industries is one of the biggest and largest resource for buying blank laser engraving products. They are the manufacturer of the Polar Camel brand, which a lot of you've already heard of or uh, use. They sell award stuff, uh, laserable leatherette, that's the uh, faux leather products. Um, you do need a tax ID and a business license to sign up with them. So uh, the sooner you can get that, on board you can go ahead and make a wholesale account with them their prices are super affordable man their inventory of blank laser engravable products at wholesale pricing um, is fantastic uh, they've got uh, free shipping when you order a certain amount which they just introduced about a year ago which is super awesome um, i order from them on a regular basis for customers corporate customers uh, that are looking for uh, gifts for their their company for Christmas and uh, they want to buy you know 25 of something or 50 or 100 uh, a plethora of blank material for laser engraving and laser cutting and items that are blank and really you know pretty cool items uh, that can be customized so they've got like a some leatherette gift sets here so look they've got like a poker poker set here and the top is made from laser engravable material so you can put whatever you want on the top a lot of their leatherette stuff is really cool they've got great uh, drinkware selection also stuff for sublimation as well really designed for the laser engraving business person so if you don't know about jds industries and uh, you haven't made an account yet and you got your tax id and your business license and you're ready to just be wowed. Make sure you you go ahead and go on over and check out JDS, one of the top resources for a lot of laser engraving businesses. All right, and last but not least, we've got No IR or Noir. Uh, they are a manufacturer of laser safety glasses, laser safety curtains, anything to do with protecting your eyeballs from lasers. Been using these guys for years. I trust their products uh, way more than I trust anything I would buy off eBay or uh, the laser glasses that come with some of these laser machines are have been tested and uh, have been shown to not be uh, the correct protection for your eyeballs. But this company makes sure that you, when you buy a pair of laser safety glasses, you're buying the right type of glasses and their customer service is really good. You can call them and talk to them about your laser, what type it is, and they'll help you get the right pair of safety glasses for your laser engraving machine. So in getting the right kind of glasses for for your laser, this is definitely my top pick for um, where to buy laser safety glasses. So make sure that uh, you're buying your laser safety glasses from these guys. All right, so here we are at the end of the video. I hope that you got some value out of this video. I'm sure that some of the websites that I listed you may have already heard of, and hopefully there were some that you haven't heard of that will benefit you and your laser engraving business. So I'd like to give a big thanks to all my existing subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and leave a comment below on what you thought of this video. So until next time, I'll see you around on Laser Engraving 911. <laughs>